In this video, we're going to uh, go over creating the mesh with the Fluent Mesher. We'll start by going into compo Component Systems and dragging in a Fluent uh, with Fluent Meshing System. And we'll transfer the geometry uh, into the Fluent Mesher by just dragging it over. Hang on, that works. Um, if you're using an older version of ANSYS that is older than 2020 R1, you may have issues with this. Um, you can come to Office Hours and I will help you fix them. So I'll open Fluent Mesher by click, double clicking on Mesh, click Double Precision, uh, I have two cores available so I'm going to use that, and I'm going to click Start, this will take a few seconds, and the first thing we want to do is just go to Display, uh, and then Mouse Buttons, and set this to Workbench Defaults, that's a good thing to do. Close that out. Now I'll go to import geometry and click update. You might check the units are still millimeters, but if you dragged your geometry in, that should be the same. So that's good. Update that. Then import geometry. This takes a few seconds. All right, so the geometry is uh, added now. So we're gonna, we are going to add local size. We want to add local sizing on the blade face. So we'll come in here, click blade wall. Everything else will take the default values. We'll say add local sizing. Go on to create surface mesh. And we'll take the defaults here. And you'll definitely want to make sure that curvature and proximity are on under size functions. That'll help us a lot at the trailing edge of the blade. So if we, if we don't take curvature and proximity functions on, then we'll have some issues there. So we'll create surface mesh. This will take a little bit of time. And it's created a surface mesh. And for this, it's also good to we'll look inside. We'll insert clipping planes and click limit in Z. And then we can see we kind of have this mesh on the surface of all these faces. And we can move through to kind of see how it looks. And we want to take a look at this blade. Make sure the mesh on that is good. And we see the trailing edge is nice and sharp and it's cleanly meshed. That's important for us going forward. So that's a good thing to keep an eye on as we go. Um, if, you, if you have issues here, that's a good place to stop and fix this. So the next step is to describe the geometry. So click on that. And for geometry type, we'll click on the geometry consists of only fluid regions with no voids. And then for these last two questions, it's no. So we'll click update. And for the boundaries, we want to list all boundaries, and this looks right, but for uh, except for these, the periodic boundaries. So we'll right-click on Describe Geometry, Insert Next task, task, and Set Up Periodic Boundaries. So back to Update Boundaries. Uh, these are all good now, so update these. Uh, set Up Periodic Boundaries. So Rotational is right. This is all right. We just want to click on our two periodic boundaries, so P1 and P2. We'll click Set Up Periodic Boundaries. Now I'll take a few more seconds probably. And that's good. So I'll go to update regions. For this, the blade wall is dead. Uh, you know, so Ansys is looking at that blade wall and thinking that inside of that wall there could be another fluid region. And we don't want to think about that. We just want to worry about uh, flow outside of the blade wall. So we set it to dead in there. And in the flow domain, we keep it as fluid. So then we update regions. For boundary layers, we do want boundary layers, and so we'll keep that as yes, and we'll hit add boundary layers. And finally, we go on to create volume mesh, and the defaults for this are all okay. So we'll click create volume mesh, and that'll take a little bit of time. And then it gives us uh, this uh, mesh geometry. Once again, we'll look at our clipping planes, and we can see that uh, far away from the bl from the that blade, we have relatively large uh, cells. But as we go closer to that blade, we get some much smaller 
cells, so we get good resolution of the flow over the blade. And we'll go back to Workbench and save. That's it for now.